Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of 21-22 Panini Mosaic Road to FIFA World Cup Soccer. This is Pick Your Team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is the big 15 country combo list right there. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in on it. So Craig ends up with double last spot mojo, Brazil and England. And then congrats to the people who won those spots in that Mosaic EPL box. So here on a Sunday, pick your team number four. We did load up another half case of Mosaic World Cup Soccer. That's the, I, I think breaks five and six will be the last break of that uh, Mosaic. Unless we get more. But for now, that might be it. Jason did break three yesterday or two nights ago, whenever that was. So he marked the second half four, so we know that it's from the same case. And just what, 40 some odd days left until game one of the World Cup in November, November 20th, I think. Pretty exciting times. Not exciting times for my club Liverpool, who fell to Arsenal 3-2. Big win for them, though. I guess, I guess you could argue that it's, it's good for the hobby. If, uh, the big clubs are doing well. And... Man, they just can't... They gave up a goal in the first minute to Gabriel Martinelli, and then a goal in, a, in injury time the end of the first half, it's a little sloppy. We gotta clean that kind of stuff up. All right, as for the World Cup, good luck everybody. Remember, all cards ship. And for some of these rookies, it might be worth looking them up. Oh, by the way, these red parallels, not numbered, but of course they will ship. Might be worth looking those up. If, if they are, I don't know, they could be a key part of their national teams if they do well, especially in the group stages, you, uh, you may be able to sell high on some of those guys. You know, like, especially if these are, if they're like parallels. Or you just hang on to them. And maybe by the next World Cup cycle, you know, four years from now, when it's here in the United States, that might be a good time to kind of check in on those players. Because if they're a bigger star, four years, four years is a long time. If they're a big star then, and with the World Cup being in North America in four years, that's a lot more, a lot more interested Americans Might be interested in stuff like this. There's Eugenio Mena, 31 out of 49 for Chile. Um, Chile, oh, you know what? I forgot to copy that. It's also helpful for the shipping team, too. Chile is part of that big 15 country combo. A spot that, uh, a spot that Daniel won in the, in the filler. This Erling Holland's, I guess it would say rookie card on there if this was his first World Cup set. Maybe that already happened. It's 
Lionel Messi's lasted, so end of an era here. I guess this would be the last card we see him in a in a World Cup. I guess they could still add him in the future, but but this would be the last set where he was a player in the World Cup. Window is pretty good. I'm trying to look at the names that kind of jump out at me here. And the autograph is Scripps Auto Robin Goosens for Germany. It'll be for Nico. And is he German? See what's, what's up? going on here? No, what's Don't happening? Show Walter wants to check out Musgrove. Oh, <laughs> sticky stuff? I don't know. Nico of Germany. Oh, is that some gamesmanship from Showalter? Five out of 99, Wapner uh, Ferenyes. For Venezuela, that's part of the big uh, combo group. We got the uh, Padres Mets game on in the background. Looks like the Mets manager, Buck Showalter, is the final game of the NL wild card. Buck Showalter wants to take a look at Joe Musgrove's. Uh... <laughs> They're checking his ears? They're checking his sideburns? <laughs> For sicky stuff. That's the combo list right here. There's Venezuela. That'll be to you, Daniel. Are, are they going to have him check the hat, check the pitch comm, check the glove? They can check his hands. It'd be on his hands, though, wouldn't it? Are they checking his hands every inning? I guess nothing. Yeah, I guess nothing. That's just, that, Teddy, that's just gamesmanship, though, right? They're, like, they're down four runs in the sixth. And they want to interrupt his rhythm. Yeah. Interrupt Joe Musgrove's, uh, Joe Musgrove's? Blake Snell? Some, some Musgrove, I think. Maybe rhythm a little bit. He was getting a little too comfortable out there. Yeah, that's right, Gilo. We were talking about that the other day. You wanted, uh, I asked if, if you were a baseball player, you know, what would you do with the lettuce, the hair? You keep it short? Or do you, uh, do you grow it out, let that flow hang out behind the hat? Gila was like, hey, I'd have long hair. Maybe put some uh, product in the back there and maybe use that as some sticky stuff. But I mean, I think they check their hands like every inning. If that was the case, it'd be on his hands almost immediately. But I think it's gamesmanship, though. I think that. Mets are down 4 nothing in the bottom of the six. They just want to, I don't know, spark a little something, get the fans into it or something like that. Yeah, were his ears a little shiny? Now, I guess there, I mean, ultimately there wasn't anything, right? Um, it would have been funny, though. What happens if... Uh, because I think the ump asked, can I touch your ears? <laughs> what if Musgrove said no? What's the, uh, in the collective bargaining agreement, what, what, I don't know what the rules are. Or, or is the ump allowed to check other parts of the body? The ears are a little shiny. What's going on there? Is it just some, some extra lather, a little sweat? You know, maybe maybe his ears are naturally a little oily. This is kind of cool. Here's a mosaic parallel for Erlen Holland. It'll be for David and Norway. 
I was hoping we'd see something other than just base. Base, I'm sure, is okay, but parallels are all we want to start to see. He's been having a great season for uh, for uh, Man City. Seems seeming somewhat unfair, right? <laughs> to get that guy too. And here's a, another rookie, 17 out of 49. Lavender parallel? Purple parallel? Ecuador, that's going to be part of that 15-country combo. Daniel Smith with them. He won that in the filler. Maybe if you don't, if you don't wash your ears right, maybe it gets a little waxy, gets a little shiny. Maybe the way the lighting is in uh, in City Field maybe it just makes his ears look extra shiny. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Ricardo Pepe action here. This goes to EA in the United States. One of the uh, young up-and-coming stars for the U.S. men's team. Not sure how they're going to do this year, but I feel like in four years, when, when the World Cup is here in the United States, it might be prime for a decent run. Yeah, wax on the outside of the ears, G. Lozen? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that gets there. I don't know what his ears are like. I don't know what his body type is. And we've got a uh, Lorenzo Pellegrini for Zazuri. That goes to Nico and Italy. And we've got a blue Harry Kane, 94 out of 99. That'll be for England, Craig, with the three lions. Well, will it be coming home for them? It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. All right. Another box. I guess no one else's ears are that shiny. Do you think it's just a little sweat? you think there are, there are Twitter detectives right now who are looking at Joe Musgrove's previous stars to see if his ears are usually that shiny? Maybe they usually are. We just haven't noticed. Did Joe Musgrove just call Buck Walter an a-hole? I think he looked towards that dugout and said a-hole, except he said the whole word. This is a family-friendly show, ladies and gentlemen. We don't say words like that here. You try not to anyway. Sometimes it slips up. Sometimes it gets a little PG-13. This will be a good. Uh, this will be good. John Boy breakdown. I'm sure we'll see that in the next couple days. I don't know, maybe that maybe it's the opposite effect. Maybe that fires up the Padres. I think Scholter wants to try to fire up the Mets or disrupt the rhythm or something like that, but Youngsters like uh, Matthew Hop, I think that's how you say his name. In four years, they could be uh, you know, they could be seasoned pros.
There's Hugo Loris, 7 out of 49. For France, Le Bleu, that goes to Craig. Wow, d does it get a little NC-17 when Jason's on? Is he like... To get an NC-17 rating usually involves a lot of... Uh, A lot of it, adult situations, Rex. Is that, is that what's happening? The overdrive parallel, I don't know if Jason's pulled that in the previous break, but the overdrive insert is the short print here. I don't know if it's a per case sort of thing, but that's kind of what we're looking at. Yeah, Machado was cracking up over the whole thing. Yeah, NC-17 is, is higher than R. And the auto is for Portugal. It is Scripps Auto Ruben Diaz. And that's for Louis with Portugal. Won that team in the filler. And there's Antoine Griezmann for France. 38 out of 99. And that will be for Craig. Come on, Rex. You don't know where you don't know where NC17 lands on the rating scale? I think that uh, I think that Marilyn Monroe movie that's on Netflix. I think it's a Netflix exclusive. Maybe I don't think it's in theaters, but I think that Marilyn Monroe movie with uh, starring Ana de Armas is uh, is NC17. Yeah, and Nutty Nate saying last movie I can even remember having that rating was Show Showgirls was NC was it? That must have been NC17, right? Sure, they they didn't edit it down to R, and then the the home release was NC seventeen. I forget. Yeah, maybe it was NC seventeen in theaters. No, so, uh, that's right. Those movies kind of came out around the same time. Striptease and Showgirls. So, what? Striptease was R, and then one of the other one, the Showgirls, was NC-17? It happens. And Hollywood has uh, a couple of the same movies in development at the same time. Seems there's a rush to like try to create the better one of the two. Redemption. Who could it be? Gilo's management style would be you'd be petty and have the ump check a Mets pitcher. That would be kind of funny if they if the Padres manager was like, hey, check that guy. Yeah, I mean, if the Padres were down and Edwin Diaz comes in and he's like 
just blowing people away, then maybe you do kind of interrupt his momentum, you know, check his ears. But Padres leading four nothing. I don't know. I don't know if I'd do it unless I was if I was down a run. Ooh, nice. I think these stained glass. Yeah, ultra rare stained glass and overdrive inserts. So this stained glass for Uruguay, which is part of that fifteen team combo, Daniel with that one, gets the uh, Federico Valverde stained glass. Nice. So I hold on to this guy and hope that. He lights it up in the uh, in the World Cup. Is he? He must be. Is he an active player? Yep, twenty four years old. And currently plays for Real Madrid. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully he looks good in the uh, in the World Cup. It might help the value of that a lot. That's right, yeah. Striptease Demi Moore. And then, or Striptease Elizabeth Berkeley from Saved by the Bell. No, Striptease is Demi Moore, the other one, right? Showgirls was Elizabeth Berkeley. I want to say that neither movie was uh, was critically acclaimed. I think it was just there was just a lot of shock value, but it just wasn't very good. All right, the redemption is going to be uh, Henry Martin or Henri Martin, who is, who plays for Mexico. That goes to L3, that's for Daniel. All right, two boxes to go. All right, now when I started this break, nothing was sold out at the moment. I see a few orders coming in here though. Let's see what direction people go in. This break is part of the promo tonight. So we've got one down and five more to go if you wanna unlock that promo. How's the uh, how's the NFL game going right now? Have we hit any bounties here? Looks like Lamar Jackson has had a passing touchdown, so that is a bounty. So there's three hundred dollars in the prize pool right now that we could give away, but we've got to fill that minimum number of breaks. All those details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And a gold, 9 out of 10, Gabriel Barbosa for Brazil. That's going to go to going to go to Craig Thomas, picked up Brazil straight up.
Burrow's just getting shellacked. Uh, Nutty Nate's waiting for the jersey break, waiting for it to get lower before he gets in. But Nate, imagine if everybody was thinking that. What if imagine, imagine if everybody in the chat was thinking, I'll just wait until it gets lower. Then when would it get lower? It never would. And we've got another Italian here and a blue Cristiano Ronaldo. First of all, we've got Nicolo Zanolo for Italy. Nico with the Italians. And a blue Cristiano Ronaldo. This is probably going to be his last World Cup. Portugal, Louis. 60 out of 99. Scored a goal today for Man United. Well, imagine if everybody was waiting for the lucky spot. Nothing would ever get full if everybody was waiting for that for their their spot. All right, final box coming up. All right, last box. Thanks, everyone. We got another half case break. Another half case break from a fresh case of this Mosaic World Cup on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now. It could be, Nutty Nate. It could be. What if everyone's waiting for whatever their spot is? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, the key here is momentum. Otherwise, we're just going to run out of time. If you're waiting around, if you're, if you're going to if you're gonna buy a spot anyway, you may as well buy it now. jazbeescasebreaks.com because if we keep waiting for someone else to keep buying spots to get to your spot, we may just run out of time. We're already almost, uh, in about 45 minutes, we'll be halfway through the show already. But getting that momentum going right now, because your spot may inspire someone else to get a spot. And then that puts some wind in the sails of some of the group breaks we have along the site. Maybe even get to unlock the promo breaks and give away some money. We've pulled the auto yet, right? And we've got Charles Aranguiz. Four out of 25. Nice one for Chile. That's going to be the part of that combo group. Daniel with that one.
Oh, and a silver Earl and Hall. That's better than the base. Those will all go to David and Norway. And the final auto is for Brazil. There's Gabriel Jesus, also of Brazil. And there's Cesar Sampaio. For Brazil, that would be for Craig, one of his last spot mojo teams. Nice. All right, old school guy. Yeah, I was going to say, he's an old school guy from the, from the 90s. And here's a current guy who's also pretty good. Gabriel Jesus for Brazil. 74 out of 99. And that's that, boys and girls. That was Panini Mosaic Road to FIFA World Cup Soccer. Six box, half case, pick your team four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next soccer break. Bye-bye.